Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning we're going to take a look at a VisualWorks issue that I was working on today at my new job, and that is have a multi-select list box where you've got drag drop enabled, but you don't want this to happen. Go ahead and select a bunch of things. Now I take my hands off the mouse and I try to reselect this to drag it, and notice it picks up the one thing I pointed at. Not really what you want. When the user takes their hand off it, you want to continue to drag that whole thing that they picked because they might have gotten distracted and you don't want to lose that whole selection. So how did I fix that? Let's push this out of the way for a minute, and I will go ahead and connect to the store repository. And once I do that, I'll browse published items, and then we'll come in here and look for multi, and we'll find multi select patch, which is the thing I built. So we'll go ahead and load that. I'll take the latest version. Notice there are a few versions because I had to iterate on this a few times. It turns out that I'm not going to look at the controller for the fix because that's not really where the problem lies. Let's scroll down, and I'll open this back up now that it's loaded just to have it there. So we'll scroll down and it looks like the problems in the tracker. This is the tracker that's used by multi-selection list box. I'll go over to the instance side and really all the actions in here, set up drag drop for. This method is called eventually from red button pressed event, meaning the left button. So you're getting this when you press the red button down and it's setting up drag drop. Notice what's going on here in the middle. This test here wasn't originally here where I'm checking something. It would just toggle the event. So you toggle the event regardless of what else is going on so just by merely clicking, you'd have selected a whole bunch of stuff away it goes. So I'm asking this, is trying to grab previously selected area with, meaning did the user select an area and then he wants to drag it? Well, so I check this here in this test method. I ask, do you want to drag? If it's not a drag drop thing, just say, yep, go back to normal. If there are keyboard options down, go back to normal because I want people to be able to deselect things or reselect additional things. And then I just check target index, the current indices of the current selections, and then see if the thing that you're selecting is inside that region. If it is, yeah, go ahead and just start dragging. Otherwise, you know, go ahead and let it go back to normal. And this is just a matter of checking for the keyboard down thing. And this is a matter of doing a test for 7.6 and 7.7.1. Here in the new version, I can do Control or Command down. In the older version, I have to check these three things here. So I've got code here that will work in either 7.6 or newer versions of VisualWorks, which is kind of nice. So now, I can come over here, select a bunch of stuff, and now I take my hand off the mouse, go in here, and I can still select it all and move things around. So it works pretty much the way I want it. So, that's it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.